The most crucial relationship in your life is your relationship with God. You expected me to say that, right? But did you know this? The most practical way for you to experience Him is in a community of like-minded believers. I want to talk about your friendships in this devotional. Hello everyone, Rick Thomas here. We're helping people live effective lives. This is Teenage Devotion number 21. The title of it is Describe Your Friendships. God is a community, Father, Son, and Spirit, and we are made in His image. And so part of the life that we live and how we relate to Him has to be in a community to understand Him in the fullest way, to enjoy Him in the most in-depth way. Well, we have to do that in a context of friends. Therefore, I trust that you will give some time reflecting upon your friendships in this video. These friends that I am talking about are intentional about helping each other mature in their relationship with God and with one another. Those two things connect. The two greatest commandments, as you know, out of all of them is to love God and to love others. Well, one of the ways that you love God is by loving others. And one of the ways that you can love others is by loving God. And if you do both of those things well, you'll be doing pretty good yourself. And so using this perspective for a relationship with God and others, how would you describe your friendships? As you think about the people in your life, it's okay to describe them. Just be honest. It's between you and the Lord. If your goal is to know God better, then your primary close-knit relationships must provide you with context and experiences that deepen your knowledge with Him. If your primary context do not give you that kind of care, and then I suggest that you consider changing your closest network of friends because in the long term and even in the short term for that matter you're not going to benefit and it will not end well for either one of you. Now it is true that evil companions corrupt good morals. We learn about this in 1 Corinthians 15.33 but it's also true if you flip that around that good friends can make you a better person. Good friends are essential, and it is an essential reason that you pursue biblical companions, those people who want to motivate you to live a God-glorifying life. Now, part of how you find and maintain these relationships is by how you talk to each other. I'm talking about communication here. The word communication comes from the word community, and so how you communicate with each other will impact the community, and the kind of community that you have will impact your life. Let me give you an example of a few questions that Lu Lucia and I, Lucia, my wife, that we have used for years as we talk to each other. In fact, you can look at these questions that I'm going to share with you as converse conversational starters. This is not an exhaustive list of questions that you should be asking each other, but it will just give you an example of how you can get the ball rolling as you transparently share your experience with God with each other. Now, when I talk about sharing your experience with God, I'm talking about the good and the bad side of your experience with God. Our temptation is to talk about the good things that God is doing in our lives while we don't talk about those things that we haven't yet appropriated His grace in our lives, the things that we are ashamed of. Well, if you want to experience the fullest benefit of a God-centered community, you need to talk about both sides of your relationship with God. The things that you are doing well, where you are appropriating His grace, and the things, well, you're still struggling today and you're having a hard time appropriating His grace. You want to have both sides of that conversation with your friends. And if you have at least one friend like that to where you can talk in that way, then you are a wealthy person. Now, here are some of the questions that Lucia and I talk about. And remember, when we ask these questions of each other, 
we're just not talking about our positive side of our relationship with the Lord. We do talk about our struggles that we're having personally or even with each other for that matter, as well as other folks that we know. Question number one, what has the Lord taught you lately? It's a very generic question, a general question. It could be vague, but if you answer, if you think about just answering it honestly, well, then it can be a quite an in-depth question that you ask your friend, and it can lead to some wonderful conversations. And so one of the questions that we ask each other is, what has the Lord taught you lately? And then another question is, how have you applied what He taught to your life? Now, that is a more in-depth question. The first question could be a knowledge-based question that the Lord has just taught me this or He's taught me that, and, and you share that information with your friend. But the second question is an application question, a functional question. How have you taken that knowledge, what God has showed you recently, and how have you applied it to your life? A third question could be something like this. What have you read or heard that is helping you in your walk with God? It's another way of asking the question, what have you learned lately from the Lord? But now you're talking about where your resource came from. What are you reading? Who are you listening to? And how are those things helping you in your walk with God? Here's another question. What specific areas in your life where you struggle? Now we're getting really personal and we're talking about that side of our relationship with God where we haven't fully appropriated His grace. There are still recurring temptations and there are things in our life that we need work that we need to work on. Well, you want to have somebody that you can have that type of conversation with. Now here's one more question. How can I serve you in a particular area of your sanctification? Now, if you have been answering these questions honestly and vulnerably with your trusted friend, well, then hopefully they will want to be intentional and, and want to know how they could come alongside you to help you in the specific area that you have been sharing with them. By the way, I think you already know that they should be asking you these questions as well as you ask them. These are reciprocal questions that either one of you can ask each other. Here's one more. What are some of the ways in which you are leading your friends? A different kind of question. It's talking about your leadership. It's talking about your influence, your sphere of influence, and how you are impacting the lives that are around you. You don't want to be that Dead Sea Christian where you're just taking in information, but you want to be a leader, a Christian leader, where you are talking to others and leading them and helping them to work through whatever their tensions and struggles are. This is devotion number 21, Describe Your Friendships. I've given you a few questions that Lucia and I have asked each other for years, and there are many more. In fact, you may find it a good exercise if you just sit down and and ask God to give you some questions that you can use with your relationships. I'll finish this video by sharing a time of reflection. There are two questions, two more questions that I want to ask, and I trust that you will use these as your time of reflection through this devotion. Number one, how do you characterize your closest relationships? I asked that at the top of this video, but now I really want you to think about it as you've heard me talk about questions and what relationships could be and how rich they could be from a spiritual perspective. Well, how do you characterize your closest relationships? What are they like? How are they leading you in one direction or the other? They're leading you toward the darkness or leading you toward the light. I trust that they are helping you to move closer toward the light. And the second reflection question is, will you use the questions that I have laid out for you in this video to strengthen your friendships? Perhaps you can share this video with a friend. You can get the questions from the description down underneath this video. Copy and paste them, put them in your own device, use them, add others to them, and use these questions plus yours to strengthen your friendships. Teen Devotion number 21, describe your friendships. Thank you so much for watching the video.